In this video, I'm going to look at installing Windows 2000 in VMware Workstation Player. And I've came across this interesting website, winworldpc.com, and it lists installation ISOs along with generic product keys for abandonware. So these are Windows versions that are greater than 20 years old. So alongside these, you'll need the unofficial service pack for Windows 2000. You'll need Image Burn and you'll need 7-Zip. So they list a number of installation ISOs. I downloaded the Windows 2000 Professional, 5.00.2195 English, 325.88 megabyte installation ISO. Okay, so let's go ahead and install VMware Workstation Player. using the default settings, except for, in this case, I don't want the desktop shortcut. Okay, so now we're also going to need 7-zip and we're going to need image burn. Now be careful installing image burn because it wants to install some additional, potentially unwanted programs. So in this case, it's got this McAfee web advisor. So some, um, antivirus, for instance, such as Malwarebytes, doesn't really like image burn. Next, we're going to extract the um, installation ISO. So let's just have it on the desktop. And we're also going to extract the unofficial service pack. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch image burn. And essentially I'm going to create an ISO from a folder and we're going to select that folder which contains the unofficial service pack. And then we're just going to save it to an ISO file on the desktop. So let's just call it USP5 and we can change the volume label to this as well. So we need to install this unofficial service pack before we install VMware tools, but we cannot copy files to the virtual machine until we install VMware tools. So that's why we need it as an ISO. So let's open up VMware player and select file new virtual machine. Now let's load this Windows 2000 ISO. It will detect that it's Windows 2000. We can change the hard disk to 50 gigabytes. We'll customize the hardware. We can change the memory to be four gigabytes, the number of processors to two. Leave the ISO at default. We'll disconnect the network and we'll need to use USB 1.1. We can change the graphics to have one gigabytes by default and we can launch the virtual machine. So we'll be prompted to download and install VMware tools. So We'll go ahead and do that and then accept the user account control prompt. And now we should be greeted with the Windows 2000 setup. So we'll need to press enter and then we'll need to press C to continue and then F8. And then we're going to need to press enter to begin the install. So the Windows 2000 setup will format and then it will copy over the files and then the computer will restart. Select next to continue with the install. And then here, what we want to do is select customize. And in my case, I'm going to change the language from English US to English UK. I'm also going to change the default language from English US to English UK. And I'm going to change the keyboard layout from English US to English UK. And I'm going to remove English US. 
so English UK will be the default and on the keyboard so select next and then I'll just type in my name so input the 25 digit product key shown on their website and then select next note you need to use the key that's followed by pro because they've got different versions so we can name the virtual machine just VM and we can set the time to be the correct time zone so in my case it's going to be GMT and then it will proceed with the install so just select next next and then finish. So it should restart now. And you'll now be at the end of the install. So select next and then next and then finish. Okay, so we'll be shown the Windows 2000 start screen, so we can select don't show this at startup, and then we can select exit. Right, we're going to need to go to player, removable devices, CD, DVD, and then we're going to need to select settings and change the ISO to the one we created with the unofficial service pack. So now we can open Windows Explorer and we can right click the optical drive and we can select Explore and go ahead and uninstall this unofficial service pack. So we can accept the agreement, select Next and go ahead with the installation. So as mentioned, the unofficial service pack needs to be installed before VMware tools are installed. Otherwise, you'll get an error message set up was unable to upgrade the Windows installer and the VMware tools installer will quit. So we can select restart to restart the virtual machine. And we can just select OK here. Okay, so in the yellow balloon, we can select I finished installing and in Windows XP or later, this should mount the virtual machine tools, but it doesn't seem to in this case. So what we are going to need to do is go to player and then manage and then install VMware tools. So it should update the optical drive to have the VMware tools and the setup should automatically begin if it doesn't then you need to start it from the optical drive okay so just select next and just proceed with the default settings and then select install Select finish and then select yes to restart the virtual machine. So 
So once you're logged in, what we can do is right click my computer and select properties. And then we can select hardware and then device manager. And we see all the drivers are installed. And this means we can resize the virtual machine and we can also drag and drop to the virtual machine.